in a shocking move, Donald Trump most likely just ended the career of a powerful hardcore MAGA congressman. The sudden turn of events sent a shockwave through the Republican Party because this individual had done everything right recently. Be staunchly conservative, endorse Trump, and even visit Trump at his Manhattan criminal trial to attack the judge. But none of that was enough. And now other members of the GOP are on edge wondering if they're next. So who is this congressman and what did he do? And how did Trump end his career? I'll tell you all about it. There has been no shortage of lawmakers and conservative influencers willing to come speak at Trump's criminal trial. Most of these people seem to be trying their hardest to impress Trump and will say anything to please him. We're here of our own volition because there are things we can say that President Trump is unjustly not allowed to say. This is a corrupt judge. These are corrupted witnesses. This is a corrupt prosecution that belies any sense of the facts or the law. And so we're going to keep speaking out against this. We're going to keep fighting against this. Mike Johnson was the most high ranking person to make the pilgrimage to Trump's trial. But another powerful MAGA congressman also showed up and made unhinged remarks in Trump's defense. A gentleman named Bob Good. You may have never heard of Bob Good before, but you are very familiar with his work. Bob Good, a Republican from Virginia, holds a powerful position in the House as chairman of the influential Freedom Caucus. The Freedom Caucus is a raucous group of about 40 far-right members of the Republican Party in the House of Representatives who are almost exclusively responsible for all the problems in this current session of Congress. With the GOP holding such a slim majority, the Freedom Caucus has been able to wield unheard of power and force the rest of the caucus to bend to their will. Kevin McCarthy had to give in to their every demand in order to become Speaker. And when he failed to live up to his promises to them, they helped lead the charge and deliver the votes to oust him. The Freedom Caucus also played a major role in getting Mike Johnson elected as Speaker. Now, Bob Good is facing a tough re-election campaign ahead of Virginia's June 18th primary. As a far-right MAGA congressman, there wasn't any real reason to doubt Bob Good's loyalty to Trump. He frequently said Trump was the greatest president and voted to reject the 2020 election results. And his recent remarks in front of the courthouse were just as wild as anyone else, which I'm sure pleased Trump tremendously. This is lawfare, again, to try to steal or to rig an election. You got a corrupt prosecutor. You got a corrupt star witness. You got a corrupt judge whose daughter is one of the leading fundraisers for the Democrat Party, having raised some hundred million dollars. That's the judge's daughter. This is a crooked sham trial to try to uh, hurt the nominee who's going to be the president of the United States, whether or not they like it or whether or not they want that to happen. President Trump is going to be reelected. But Donald Trump has a long memory. He holds lengthy grudges and waits a strike when it's most opportune for him. And Bob Good made a major mistake back in May of last year. Just weeks after Donald Trump was indicted in New York, Bob Good endorsed Ron DeSantis for president, even before DeSantis got into the race. Bob Good was also caught on video back in December of last year saying that Trump can't win because he was indicted. I decided to endorse DeSantis in May because I thought, like, you know what, I can't sit by and watch and then regret that we nominated Trump. Even though Bob Good endorsed Donald Trump eventually, it was too late for Trump. Posting on True Social this morning, Trump delivered the death blow to any MAGA elected official's career, an endorsement of their opponent. And doing it on this day, an important day for the trial with closing statements taking place, that sent a clear message to all of Trump's doubters. I will survive this indictment. Here's exactly what Trump said. Bob Good is bad for Virginia and bad for the USA. He turned his back on our incredible movement and was constantly attacking and fighting me until recently when he gave a warm and loving endorsement. But really, it was too late. The damage had been done. I just want to make America great again, and the person that can most help me do that is Navy SEAL and highly respected state legislator John McGuire, a true American hero, blah, 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 blah. After that post on True Social by Trump, Bob Good's chances of winning his primary have gone down dramatically. This may very well be the end of his career. With a single post, Donald Trump sends a message to anyone who dares cross him. Don't even think about it. Good luck, Bob. Sounds like you're going to need it.